Today I'm going to show you how to remove this disgusting uh, cooking grease that has evaporated and vented out of the oven here onto where the dials are. I've taken all the dial knobs off and I'll be covering these uh, lights that indicate the burners are on with masking tape because last time I forgot to do that and then they looked a little bit greasy and that's probably not a good idea when you're having uh, electricity in there for the light and using what I'm going to be using to clean that off so I'll just cover that up made a nice tight seal around the light so that it doesn't get in there and if it does it should be able to wipe it off now believe it or not I will be using canola oil but I think any type of oil would work uh, I haven't tried any others but I'm using canola oil it doesn't have to be Crisco and I'm going to be using a rag uh, to wipe it because it would save on using a paper towel and also be a lot stronger so you can put a little bit of elbow grease into it but this will take off all the nastiness you can currently see so I'll start I'll just show you I won't show the entire process because that would take too long but basically you just pour some on the rag not too much like I just did and then uh, you wipe some of this stuff you can see here like this that is actually burnt paint that'll never come off but that's the problem with uh, ovens that vent on the top of the oven door but you just wipe back and forth it takes a lot of work to do it but as you can see, some of it is coming off. It's just hard to see. But I'll keep working at it and then I'll come back and show you the result. And yes, I did use canola oil. I have made some progress, but as I said earlier, it is time consuming. I'm sure there's probably some sort of degreaser product that doesn't... Uh, harm the paint or safer paint out there, but I figured this is basically a natural way of doing it and something I have at home uh, I think most people have some type of cooking oil at home uh, There might be a better tool than a rag something that would be a little bit of abrasive But not too abrasive to harm the paint Now the next time I'll show you is when we've finished removing it and then I'll show you what the last step is that I do. And now that I got most of it off, as you can see, most of it is off. Some of it is like either too hard to get off or baked on. I'm basically just going to take some warm water and dish soap because it has grease fighter in there and wipe off the oil. And I didn't get the oven door clean. That's baked into the paint. Can't get that out of there. So I'll basically do this maybe once or twice more and then later on maybe just some warm water and a couple of drops of vinegar or a quarter cup of vinegar and then wipe it off and then let it dry and that's as good as it'll get. Unfortunately, the knobs are plastic, so there's pretty much nothing I can do about it. They'll just look ugly and disgusting. But yeah, when I first read this uh, tip online, I didn't think it would work. I thought it was a little bit out there, but it does work. It would probably work a lot easier if I did it more frequently. And yes, I do wipe down this whole control panel of the oven. Uh, after using it but that doesn't do enough 
so hopefully this helps somebody subscribe or visit my YouTube channel.